Traders, welcome back to another Trading Psychology Masterclass. And in this masterclass, we are going to bring to surface the root cause of your trading mindset issues. I'm gonna show you that one thing you can do, that one thing you can implement to ensure that you take care of 95% of your trading mindset issues. Over the last seven years, my, my own trading journey, working with hundreds of traders one-on-one, -on -one, having many, many traders come through the 12-week program, I've seen that most the trading mindset issues that traders face, things like over-trading, FOMO, missing positions, getting in too early, oversizing, all these things are a symptom of a root cause. And if you take care of that root cause, if you understand that root cause, you go a very long way in ensuring that you don't have these trading mindset issues and you can significantly reduce the stress you experience in your trading and you can significantly increase the probability of being consistent, uh, consistently profitable with your strategy. Because it's those trading mindset issues that ultimately take you away from executing on your edge and your edge is what you need to execute on to have consistent profitability. So by watching this video, by implementing what I, what I share in this particular video, you are going to go a very long way in ensuring you have the proper processes in place to ensure you can achieve consistent profitability. We are going into this masterclass on the root cause of your trading mindset issues. Now, the big problem we're fixing or we're addressing with this particular masterclass are all the common trading mindset issues. I'm gonna go off and make a statement that this is going to address probably 95% of the general mindset challenges that traders face. Now, the reason why I can't say all of them is because each individual trader is gonna have their own experiences throughout life. They're gonna have their own judgments and emotions and expectations and the way they see the world, which is painted by so many factors. And that's where one-on-one -on -one work becomes incredibly important. Um, but in terms of talking about the general trading mindset issues, I can guide you to identifying where these come from and putting things in place, putting tools and processes in place to mitigate those, to manage those, and to be aware of those challenges so that you can go a long way in achieving consistent profitability. Things like over-trading, FOMO, missing positions, getting in too early into positions, over-risking positions. These are all symptoms of one particular root cause. And that root cause is not being present with the real market. Now we're gonna elaborate on this and show you specifically what that means and, and how to identify and how to be aware of it. But in general, all these trading mindset issues come from not being present with the real market. And you've heard me say in my, in my lectures before on my YouTube, or if you've been through the 12-week program, there's a difference between the virtual market and the real market. The virtual market's the one you have in your head. The virtual market's the ideas, the fantasies, the expectations that you create in your mind of what you think is gonna happen next. These are all outcome-based thinking and outcome-based decisions. And the real market is the real market. It's the market that does what it wants to do. It's the real market that needs to be respected. Now, the issue comes in place when you're trading and making decisions based on the virtual market in your head, coming up with decisions and ideas in the virtual market and projecting them onto the real market, thinking that the real market, the actual market, is going to bend to your ideas, expectations, thoughts that are created in the virtual market. So over trading, for example, over trading is, a, is an idea that you've created in your mind you have an idea or an expectation or a thing that you think is going to happen in the market and you're so addicted to this outcome and you're so seeking after the pleasure of that particular outcome or that particular result that you're now rushing the process, you're rushing the journey and you're forcing positions to get that particular outcome, to get that particular result, to get that particular expectation that you're addicted to, the pleasure of it, right? So over trading, if you start to quiet down the virtual market in your head and you've got a clear edge and you've got clear processes and you know exactly how to execute in the market and then you start to quiet down the ideas and expectations in the virtual market, you're not gonna be over trading anymore because you're gonna be present with the real market and just executing what the real market presents. FOMO, FOMO what FOMO is is the fear of missing out on the positive expectations, the ideas, the expectations, the pleasure you create in the virtual market. Traders create this idea of what they think is going to happen. The market's going to go this direction without me. They're projecting that expectation or idea into the real market. And now they have fear of missing out on that expectation. When you ground that 
virtual market thinking and you get present with the real market, FOMO no longer exists. Because when you're present with the real market, you know the market's gonna present exactly what you need to see in order to get into that position. If it does, you'll do it. If it doesn't, there's no trade for the day. And that's where process-based decision, decision making comes in. Missing positions. The anger of missing positions is an indication or the frustration towards missing a position is an indication that you're addicted to some sort of outcome or fantasy in the virtual market and you can't let that go. And because you didn't take that position, but you really wish you did in the virtual market and you really, you know, you're addicted to the pleasure of that and you think there are more advantages if you got into that position, then you're gonna have this anger or frustration towards missing a position. And we can go through all those and identify why this particular idea that I'm presenting to you is the root cause, is the problem. And my whole 12 week program is designed to address this on a subconscious level and to rebuild the parts of the trader that need to be rebuilt based on all this programming they've had throughout their life. Um, and we're going step by step and rebuilding it so that traders can learn to be present with the real market. Traders can be process based and they can learn how to identify ground outcome based decision making and thinking. I hope that makes sense. This is such a crucial idea for trading mindset in general. So understanding this real market versus virtual market. There is a difference between the real market and the virtual market. If the virtual market equals the real market, you have consistent profitability. In other words, if you're present with the real market and what the ideas you have in your mind are a true reflection of the real market, you will have consistent profitability. Why? Because you're listening to what the market's presenting. And when the market presents an opportunity that aligns with your trading plan, you execute. And because your trading plan has a consistent edge, you as a result have consistent profitability. That's assuming your trading plan has an actual edge. If the virtual market doesn't align with the real market, in other words, you're creating stories in the virtual market, project them onto the real market, like I just explained before, you have consistent unprofitability, if that's even a word, I don't know. To ensure the virtual market equals the real market, you must learn to be present. You must learn to be present. It's our memories, pride and shame of the past, installed in memory, and our imagination, the expectations and fantasies of the future that take you away from being present, okay? So if we learn to manage our previous experiences, both our pride and shames, and we learn to ground our unrealistic expectations of the future, then you learn to be present and you learn to have the virtual market equal the real market, and you learn how to have consistent profitability as a trader. That's the formula I've put together for trading mindset. And uh, these ideas are, they're my own ideas. These are ideas that I have identified and uh, brought to surface through my own experiences and through working with so many clients and through my studies of human behavior and psychology as well, which have played a huge part in coming to these conclusions. But I guarantee you, if you want consistent profitability, the way to have that is obviously having a system that has an edge and putting that into a mechanical trading plan. But then in terms of yourself, you have to go in and address the, the prides and shame of the past stored in memory, and you have to address the future expectations and future fantasies. You have to keep those grounded. You have to keep those in check, okay? So let's put a little diagram together um, because I think these are good visual aids. There's the real market. Here's the virtual market. The virtual market's on the left, the real market's on the right. If you're creating ideas in your own brain in the virtual market and projecting those into the real market, you don't have consistent profitability. Whereas if you're virtual market in your head is brain clear and you're present and you're balanced and you're poised and you're clear minded, then what you can do is you can let the information into your mind without bias. You can process it. And if it aligns with your trading plan, you execute. If it doesn't, you don't. And that's when you have consistent profitability. I hope that makes sense. Now the solution, how can we put things in place to start to address the root cause? Well, first and foremost, do this. Anytime you have an idea or an expectation about what you think is going to happen next, you're not present with the real market. You're creating ideas and expectations in the virtual market. You need to learn to identify these and ground these outcome-based expectations. By doing so, you become present and process-based. If you truly identify an outcome-based expectation, you put it in front of you and you question it and you really put under the microscope, does anybody have any idea of what's gonna happen next in the market? 
and you recognize the answer is no, and you truly believe that, and then you ground yourself and say, Pat, nobody has any idea of what's gonna happen next in the market. Therefore, this expectation on what I think the outcome is gonna be is unfounded. And if you get to the idea truly, and you have this belief truly as a trader that I don't care which direction this position goes. I don't care if it goes up or down. I don't care if this individual trades a win or a loss. I am truly executing on this trade because I know it's part of my trading plan. And if I do this over a large enough sample space, a hundred, a thousand trades, I know I'll end up profitable then. That's when you truly embody process-based thinking. Now, how do you get to that? Well, you can't just convince yourself of that. You have to do an enormous amount of work on your previous trades, your wins and losses, realizing the outcome's neutral, coming to that conclusion through the work I teach in the 12-week program, and also learning to identify and ground, building that muscle of identifying and grounding outcome-based expectations, which is also what I teach in the 12-week program. And uh, I also have this particular process uh, of identifying and grounding the outcome-based expectations in the free Bulletproof Your Mindset tool. It's a link in the description. This will help you start to identify and ground outcome-based expectations. But there's also a root cause to that, right? So identifying an out, uh, outcome-based expectation and grounding it is a great start. But if you don't ultimately address the memories of the past, the pride and shame of the past, the infatuation and resentment with winning and losing, the good of winning and the bad of losing, if you don't address that and you don't learn to become neutral in the outcome, you don't see the other side of the outcome, then you're gonna to continue to project unrealistic expectations into the market. Because the root cause of these expectations is that subconsciously stored, winning is good, losing is bad. That needs to be addressed. Okay, so the solution to that is we need to go in and we need to address the previous memories, the pride and shame, right? For example, if you have a very painful loss in the past and you see that as all bad, all drawback, all negative, then what's gonna happen is that's gonna project forward into a future fear and you're gonna be fearful of that happening again. And when the market presents an opportunity that lines with your trading plan, you're gonna be swayed by fear and you may not execute on a trade that's part of your plan because of that logged fear, that logged resentment of the past. So you're disrupting your edge. So too, you can have a past experience that you perceived as extremely pleasurable, a win that was extremely pleasurable. And that's gonna project forward into a future fantasy, something that you want to seek after again. You wanna seek after that pleasure of that win again. You wanna have that dopamine rush again. And because of that, you're gonna be pulled by greed and you may start projecting low quality setups into the market just because you want that quick fix. Okay, and again, you're gonna disrupt your edge. So to, and that's ultimately what drives the unrealistic expectations, the fantasies, right? So we need to go in and address those previous experiences of winning is good, losing is bad. Not by making things up or trying to justify them, but just going back to moments, going to the most painful loss you experienced and making yourself aware of the other side in that experience how that was a benefit to you, how that helped you grow, the lessons you extracted from that. And when you make yourself aware of those things that are always there but been blocked out by bias, then you come to the realization that, you know what, losing has both advantage and disadvantage. It's not something to run away from and winning has both advantage and disadvantage. It's not something to seek. And you start to quiet down those uh, addictions to winning and avoidance of losing and you start to quiet down outcome-based expectations and you learn and you train yourself to become process-based. So the root of your trading mindset challenges is that it's the previous resentment and infatuation, pride and shame of winning and losing. A trader must focus on addressing that past subconscious data. It's this loss is bad, you need to go in and address that. That win is good, you need to go in and address that. Because until you do, you're gonna be projecting unrealistic expectations in the market. You're gonna have fear and greed running yourself as a trader. So this is taught in the 12 week program. I encourage you to check that out as a seven day free trial to that, link in the description. Um, and then traders, as they continue to address that subconscious data, they need to continue to use the Bulletproof Your Mindset tool to train that muscle to be present and process based with the market. But if you don't address the root cause and you don't patch the holes in the bucket and you just try and pour more water into the bucket, you're not gonna address the actual root cause. So it's, you have to do both. You have to address the past subconscious data and you have to train that muscle of being present in the market.
okay? I hope that makes sense. Now, we've also uh, created a free email mastery, trading mindset mastery um, email series. It's completely free and every day, every second day, I send out incredibly insightful tidbits of knowledge to help you master your trading mindset. I encourage you to sign up to that, it's completely free. Link in the description um, and that will just continue to get more affirmation and reminders of the principles so that when you're trading, you have those in your mind. And that when you watch the YouTube and you get part of the 12 week program and you continue to implement that work, those daily reminders are gonna be incredibly great reminders to do the work and of what things to properly focus on with your trading mindset. So watch over this maybe again to really understand what I'm trying to communicate with this message. If you found it valuable, please like, comment and subscribe, share these videos with friends. Let's get this information out there because it's su such important. Um, it's a such, such an important component of trading mindset mastery and, and success as a trader. Okay, thank you for watching to the end. Um, we'll speak very soon. Cheers.